Hello friends, this video on combustion and flame part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. But now the question is how do we know which fuel produces how much energy? So we looked at all the characteristics of fuel and we said that a good fuel is one which generates more amount of energy. But how do we know which is generating how much energy? How do we calculate or how do we measure the amount of energy that is produced by a fuel? For that was introduced calorific value of a fuel. So calorific value tells us or it defines the amount of energy that is produced by a fuel. Fuel is nothing but a substance which on burning produces energy. So calorific value of a fuel is the amount of heat energy that is produced on complete combustion of 1 kg of a fuel. So that, that's what we want that we take a fuel, we just burn it, during burning it will undergo reaction with oxygen and as a result of this reaction a lot of energy will be released in the form of heat. So the, that amount of energy which is reproduced when 1 kg of a fuel is burned completely that is defined as calorific value so now we have one particular standard to to compare the energy productivity of various fuels so higher the calorific value of a fuel higher is the heat energy produced by that fuel so better the fuel is so for a good fuel it, its calorific value should be higher and the unit in which it is measured is kilojoule per kg. By kilojoule per kg, joule is the unit of energy, right? And kg is the unit of mass. So the amount of fuel that is being burned to produce energy in terms of joules. So therefore, the unit is kilojoules per kg. So let us look at the calorific values of various fuels. For example, when you talk about coal, so what would be the calorific value of coal? It is somewhere around 25,000 to 33,000 kilojoules per kg. So that is the calorific value of coal. So that means 1 kg of coal if completely burned will produce 25,000 to 33,000 kilojoules of heat energy. You think of uh, petrol. So in case of petrol, it is 45,000 kilojoules per kg. You talk about LPG. So in case of LPG, the value is 55,000 kilojoules per kg. So you see, now since we have a specific value, so it becomes very easier to decide which is a better fuel in terms of the amount of energy produced. So out of these three, the highest calorific value is that of LPG. So therefore, LPG is a better fuel than petrol or coal in terms of calorific value. You take examples of biogas. So this biogas is formed from the remains of dead plants and animals. So biogas has a calorific value of around 35,000 to 40,000 kilojoules per kg. You think of wood. So wood has a calorific value of 17,000 to 22,000 kilojoules per kg. So if you compare all these values, you see the minimum calorific value is that of wood and the maximum calorific value is that of LPG. So if I ask you that in terms of the amount of energy produced, which is a better fuel out of these five fuels? So the best fuel would be LPG and the worst one out of these five would be wood. So that's how calorific value helped us to decide the heat productivity of a fuel. Thank you. Please visit www.examfuel.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.